Hey guys and welcome back to my Tarisland content. And in this video, I'm going to showcase the Ranger class with the Hunting Spec build. Hunting Spec build is more focused on the critical strike. It can deal bursty damage from afar and has a higher DPS than the Tamed Beast build. However, the downside of this build is you need to be stationary most of the time. What I mean is you prevent your movement and just stand in one area and spam your skills so that your spectrum energy will activate. In dungeons and raids, it is easy because the bosses don't move that much. But in PvP scenario, it's hard to get more spectrum energy because of the frequent movement of the enemies. But if you have a good teammate that can cover you and let you free hit from afar, you'll be deadly as ever. First, let's discuss the stats priority. The first one you need to prioritize is the crit, which makes your attack deals critical damage. Then next is Omni, which increases your final damage. Cooldown that obviously reduces the cooldown of your skills. Then you get the Dexterity, which adds a bit of attack, Focus that ignores a certain defense of your target, and the least is Stamina for additional HP and HP regen. On the skill set is the Hunting Spec. The Spec Aura is the Hunting Ground, which enhances your Sniper Shot, Rapid Shot, and Magic Shot when the Spectrum Energy is full. You can see it above the skill bar. And the way to fill this gauge is to cast Steady Shot or Basic Attack while just standing, not moving any directions. As you can see here, the spec energy goes from wide circle down to a small red circle, which I believe it symbolizes like a target range. Now if you move a distance, the circle will expand and you lose the stability points. This is what I'm talking about how bad this build is for PvP. But if you can manage to just stand and do free hits from afar, then you can kill more enemies. For the talents, you can just copy the settings. For the ultimate skills, I prefer not to change the Swift Hunt and Leap, as they are very essential in every aspect of the game. Just change the third skill slot with Firing Disruption if you are facing a boss that has the ability to channel, just like the skill that heals them. And for PvP is the Tripwire Shot, which slows down your target. You can synergize this skill with your PvP passive which I will talk about later. For the assist, I don't really recommend you using this one. Because this build requires a sequence of skill combos, and Sniper Shot has a charging state, so it is still recommended to do it manually. I'm gonna show you how to properly execute the skills to deal maximum damage in raids. First, you need to fill the Spectrum Energy into full. Once the Spec Energy is full, do not just use the Rapid Shot, as it has long cooldown. Rapid Shot is like your one-time burst skill, so you better amplify the skill first before using. First thing you need to do is to buff with Hunter's Heart, debuff the target with Corrosion Arrow, and then use the Rapid Shot. Then you can follow up with a Sniper Shot and Steady Shot for sustained damage. Now if you just use the Rapid Shot without some buff and debuffs, this will happen. The minimum damage is 360 and the crits are 540. Now we will use the buff and debuff. That's what I'm talking about. It goes from 529 minimum damage up to 949 crits. So do not waste this 20 second cooldown skill by just smashing your keyboard or phone screen. If the buff is on cooldown, you can just wait for the corrosion arrows cooldown and cast it again, followed by the rapid shot. For the inscribed stone, basically, you just put one level on each node first, and rush the emblem slot. This way, you can insert your desired emblems. Then in the future, if you can gain more points, you can unlock the third slot and followed by the fourth and fifth emblem slot. Now after you manage to unlock the emblem slot, you should put the right emblem attributes for your character. For the hunting spec ranger, the emblems that you need is the overload, warlike surge, crush, strive, and tribal ode. 
After that, prioritize upgrading the nodes in particular order. Crit, Specialization Effect, Cooldown, Omni, Focus, Dexterity, then Stamina. Now for the Warlike Talent, you have here the ultimate skill which is the same. And for the passive talent, Rapid Pullback is a must-have passive. Movement speed in every PvP scenario is very important, so you can move back swiftly when being hit and won't die easily. Time control to reduce the cooldown of your ultimate skills. The Swift Hunt and Leap will give you more movement in the battlefield. It may be used as an offense to chase down enemies or defense so you can easily back out. And lastly is the Slow Suppression, which synergizes well with your Tripwire Shot, so your team can burst down enemies that are fleeing. If this guide helps you, then please leave a like. Also subscribe for more Taris Land content and to support my channel. I'm going to upload more guys like this on each class and their respective specialization. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one. Lights out.